What's good, brawlers? This is Mr. Dean, aka Dean the Aubrey, and we'll be playing the Takeover. Finally got it to work perfectly for me on the PC after um, update number 21. Uh, this update includes a track from Yuzo Kushiro himself, some optimization, um, amongst other things. Uh, unfortunately, some levels have been disabled for the game. But other than that, you know, everything's working fine. You know, it runs actually pretty good while I'm recording it and playing and everything else. Okay, so now that we got all that taken care of, we're going to start over here. And uh, we, like I said, we're going to test this game out on hard. Just make sure it's still set to hard. Okay, we're good. So today I'm going to be using uh, Ethan just to get things started. Ethan's the uh, balanced type as usual, you know, the typical brawler type of the three. Uh, it looks like um, it's only three characters now. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the video before, but um, the last video that I did on TakeOver, it was actually three characters and then there was a uh, question mark and I was assuming that the fourth character would be the kidnapped daughter and she would probably take on the the skate tricky type of uh, character that's what I was assuming anyway got some grenades popping out here I think I got a little bit too used to the de default controls for this game. So I jumped instead of kicking. Actually, let me adjust something here. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Had to do a quick edit. See if I can get this to run a little bit faster. It was running really, really fast uh, the first time I tried it out um, the other day. So the reason I uh, upped the difficulties at hard is because um, I didn't really feel like this game was really that hard um, playing on normal. You know, I was just testing it out and seeing how things work with this new update and, you know, enemies really aren't that aggressive on this game. And I'm pretty sure that's something that's in the works. Now, if you may have noticed, um, now you finish your combo in the air instead of um, doing the standard, you know, rapid jabs that you usually do, um, that you used to be able to do um, in the previous version. Now, I assume this is so that you're not... Um, as easily doing um, infinite. I notice combos kind of finish off a little bit uh, quicker here. So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna assume that where the harder difficulty comes in is the damage boost. Because as you guys just saw, I died there and. I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention to my life bar.
So I'm probably going to just like not let them hit me. But yeah, you know, this game's running a lot smoother. Even on my laptop, of all things. I feel like I still feel like there's a couple of things that uh, may make the experience a little bit better. Like adding maybe uh, target throws for combos, you know, by holding the down button. That'd be pretty cool. I also noticed that you can vault in this game, but it's not. I mean, it just didn't. There's no situation that causes you to vault. Not like um, in the Streets of Rage series where, you know, you didn't really have too many options. Especially when it came down to throwing on both sides. Here, it doesn't really feel like vaulting is needed. Mainly because I... Got I don't know, I guess if the enemies were maybe a little bit more aggressive and the slams from the vaults actually um, did more damage to enemy surrounding enemies, maybe I'd probably see more of a reason to vault, but I really don't see a reason to vault in this game. So it's just kind of one of those things that you kind of overlook. There's also a glitch, you probably, you'll probably probably notice it later in this playthrough. Uh, chicks like the one I'm beating up right now, <laughs> they actually uh, they actually use some of the male death sounds. Hmm, I don't think you can break any of those barrels. But yeah, they use some of the male, um, <clears throat> male death voice clips. It's kind of funny. So yeah, this is, I guess this is, uh, on hard mode, this is kind of the game you don't want to get hit in. Yeah, and I'm not really fond of that type of, um, boosting a difficulty. Um, just having boost damage. And I think this game's actually another, another good example of that. Because the AI in this game isn't really all that smart. See, like you see right there, it takes so long to hit you. You know, um, it takes so long to hit you, and it takes so long to set themselves up to hit you that, like, usually when I I hit get hit by them, I don't. I feel like, man, that was a stupid thing. <laughs> like, I gotta, how can I let this person even hit me in the first place? Um, and to me, that that doesn't like it. Just doesn't feel rewarding <laughs> to say oh I, I beat the game on hard yeah it just didn't feel re it just doesn't feel rewarding to say uh, I beat the game on hard when the AI is just very dumb and <laughs> and everything and the only thing that, that that even causes them to be a threat is that their hits do more damage than it probably should be doing oh I didn't want to finish him off with that 
You guys gotta excuse me because I'm still pretty sick. I'm having a pretty hard time. Ah, shit. Yeah, these barrels are annoying. <clears throat> yeah, there's quite a bit of like annoying stuff in this game. Um, the barrels, the now um, grenades just popping out of enemies and containers and stuff. Feels a little bit unnecessary. But you know, even with that, the game is actually really fun, you know. Actually being able to get it to run properly was probably the biggest gripe that I had. Now there's also a rage mode. I tend not to use it until I get to the boss. Or I'm really low on health and I don't think I'm going to get... Um, pass without using it. But essentially what it is, like, it, it's an invincible mode. You know, anytime somebody hits you, you block automatically. Which is kind of cool. I think if anything, maybe you should take chip damage or something in that mode. But yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, um, <clears throat> it's a pretty crazy feature. I think it can use a little bit of work. Because as I said, you know, it's not like the AI here is, you know, top notch or anything. AI is only going to really catch you off guard here and there. Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are still burning as well um, from being sick. Yeah, I feel like like the challenge from this game, it's in... Ah. There we go. <laughs> I think that I feel like the challenge in this game actually comes a little bit more from I was about to say, don't tell me I'm gonna die by a barrel. So yeah, here I probably will have to use rage. If I can't make it to the uh, container here, okay, we're good. Yeah, the challenge here usually comes from the fact that I'm not using a lot of features. Like I said, for example, I'm trying not to use the rage until I get to the boss. Um, I don't really use the gun. You know, I tend not to use a gun unless I actually really have to. But, you know, if I were actually using the gun along with everything else, like, I don't think this game would be much of a challenge, you know? So, yeah, there's just some, there's some things here that, that, that I think still need some polish. The AI being one of them, you know. Like, you see them trying to, like, surround me, but they're not fast enough. It's kind of funny, <laughs> you know. It almost feels like I'm over-equipped here.
And it's probably not very often you're going to hear me say that in beat-em-ups, because beat-em-ups are usually pretty unfair. You know, you're usually working against the odds when you're when you're playing, you know, beat-em-ups. Alright, so yeah, now we're moving on to the boss, first boss. Oh, and also cutscenes have been taken out of this uh, version as well. I assume that they're fine-tuning them so that they can also... Um, run pretty smoothly with everything else that's what I assume anyway Something else I noticed too, you know, these guys will actually shoot you while they're off screen as well. It's a little unfair, but I mean, like I said, considering how slow these guys move, like these guys do not move fast at all. I think they, I think these guys need a serious speed boost. <laughs> Cause yeah, we're, if we're playing like Shoot the Rage right now. Um, even on, even the hardest, or hard, you know, these enemies would be, sw like, swamping me right now. Because I'm being careless, you know. I'm actually being very careless right now. Oh, he actually got me there. Okay. <laughs> now, the game's running a little slow for me because I'm recording right now. Otherwise, it'd be going really fast. <laughs> you know. I would actually be having trouble. I would actually be having trouble trying to do my combos because it would be going so fast, the combo would end before I know it. So I'll probably I'll probably show off the rage mode in the next level. Loading loading times seem to take a little bit longer too, I've noticed. I'm pretty sure they're working on that as well. Yeah, you'll notice there's a little bit of speed up here. But yeah, it's not it's not unplayable by any means. You know, beforehand it was going so slow that like it just was it wasn't even acceptable for me to record. You know, it was just <laughs> it was so bad. You know, uh, the controls would not respond at times. It was going so slow. And that was on certain levels. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't even a matter of like the entire game going slow. It would just be certain levels that would go slow, and then, you know, next thing I know, um, specific levels be running at optimal efficiency and everything, like running like it's supposed to run. So I know it had more. I know it had um, to do with more than just my my setup, you know. Like I playing on a laptop, you know, I already know there's a lot of limits as it is, so So I'm probably gonna do um two levels per per video, um and you know, just to kind of pace pace the videos a bit, you know, um I I know quite a few of these brawlers are going to actually start going pretty long, a lot longer than the usual standard brawler. 
which is about an hour or so. And, you know, um, I know that's one thing that people have been asking um, about, you know, feeling that some of my videos are too long. So, I mean, I mean, if you guys have a different opinion on that, let me know in the comments. And of course, as always, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like the video so that, you know, we can spread this video around because, yes, the developer definitely needs to see the game played, you know. I can give them all the feedback I want, but, you know, him watching me play is uh, very important. There we go. Oh wow, she actually hit me. And she was very quick about it too. So there used to be an apple in that trash can. <laughs> that is a grenade. I feel like the grenades are just uh, like uh, very unnecessary. That's something that's still kind of there that was a complaint. Not really a complaint, but more of a gripe for me um, in the earlier versions that there's just some things that kind of don't fit certain levels. You know, for example, the uh, gas canisters. You know, those objects. I feel like they didn't really fit in the bar area. It just seemed a little out of place. Also, you you also notice if you've played any of the earlier versions, or if you watched uh, my last playthrough of the Takeover, animations are actually a lot smoother here for the enemies. Like when they get punched, some of their attacks are a little bit smoother as well. I notice. You know, this is this is actually why I waited to uh, really jump in to review it. I'm still not going to review it yet, you know, because it's not a complete game. You know, there's still some stuff I'm, I assume they want to add and change and fix and all that stuff. I mean, especially now that like uh, the later levels are actually disabled. Now I'm gonna assume that the later levels are gonna be definitely be harder. Um, I'm just not entirely sure how much harder. It's like I said, you know, the, the enemies really don't. You know, you could pretty much avoid getting hit for the most part, especially once you uh, get used to where they spawn and their moving patterns just you know you can pretty much avoid getting hit almost um, playing this game actually makes me wonder if I, if I if I can like attempt to do a no hit run <laughs> it's like I said you know they, they even if they do manage to surround you they take so long to hit you you can literally just walk around their punch <laughs> That's weird. 
he just kind of went around my punches. <laughs> You just gotta stay perceptive, you know, of where they're going. You know, you don't wanna. I think the only thing that usually gets me hit is being caught in the middle of a combo, because um, it's a little weird, you know. This game kind of just. It, I don't wanna say it's hit stop, but I think uh, some moves, like, uh, I think, like, maybe his third hit does two hit, uh, two attacks instead of one. So it's like I can't just stop at um, the one attack when it hits. Like I have to wait for the other attack to to register before I can uh, move on to the next hit or move out the way. Pretty much have to wait for the animation to finish before I can uh, move because it's a second hit. But that's usually where I get caught. You know, that's usually where I, I get hit is um, in that case. And then there's the occasional um, times where they'll actually catch me off guard. But typically, like, if I'm overwhelmed, you know, there's the... Like they said, there's the option to use the gun, and then there's the rage option whenever I have that meter filled. I think that Jack guy should really throw knives. <laughs> I really think he should throw knives. It also seems like there's a... Uh, I didn't think that was going to catch anybody. Oh shit. Now I think that's what this game could use. is rolling because there are times like this for example where I think you should be able to roll out the way I get that you can run diagonally and that that's cool you know that's, I guess I can understand them not having rolling for that but there are literally times where I just want to roll I'm <laughs> so I'm so um, adjusted to Streets of Rage I, I want to roll you know but that's, uh, I think, that's kind of the result of this game kind of feeling like Streets of Rage. Because I feel like if it felt a little bit more like uh, Final Fight, like I said, if it had things like target throws, um, yeah, if it had things like target throws, uh, amongst other things, I probably wouldn't feel the need to roll as much. Or if it didn't have things like uh, the, the guys on the motorcycles, I wouldn't feel the need to roll. So really, it's just it's really all just about balance, you know. Of course, the player is always going to be at an unfair advantage. You know, you're fighting multiple enemies, but you know, you you want to give the player the option to to deal with certain things. Um, when they arise. Okay. Yeah, I also feel like the camera does not move fast enough either. There's times where the camera will, uh, will urge me to go, but <laughs> once it doesn't really move as fast as I move, so I'm just kind of gripping onto the edge of the screen as I progress, you know. It's 
something I gotta actually get used to is actually being able to uh, and see that's, this is another reason why I don't think vaulting is needed because you have two attack buttons you know one attack button gives you your knee combo without having to press forward like Street to Rage and then the other one just does the knockdown attack might be uh might actually be a different order for uh, either um, Megan and Connor but yeah you know um, there's two buttons so there's there's no there's really no reason to vault because really they could just give you the option to throw left or right with the punch button you know there's there's no reason to have vaulting vaulting was uh, brought about in streets of rage uh you know give me a second okay so we're on to the uh, next scene had to make a little bit of a cut there but yeah you know um i feel like this game have certain things that aren't necessarily needed and then it's missing things that would probably make it feel a lot smoother I don't feel like vaulting is needed in this game because you have you know you have plenty of options with the two attack buttons you know you know like I said vaulting was placed in streets of rage because the way their system was set up you couldn't throw you couldn't throw enemies forward when you grabbed them unless you were skate for um, you know Streets of Rage 2 and 3 which you know he he only had one type of throw anyway so his throw wasn't even ideal regardless so he had like a he had like kind of an advantage too but but not really so yeah vaulting was introduced because you couldn't throw forward so when you vaulted and you did like a uh, a back slam it was like throwing him forward now see here this guy actually hit me <laughs> like he actually swung at me pretty quickly this time around They don't usually do that. They're so slow to actually hit you. And I don't even know where this uh, bulldozer disappeared to. <laughs> I think the enemy got caught on it and just kind of uh, kept pushing it back. I'm just kind of beating up on this guy here. Oh. Okay, so in the previous version, they actually had you walk off. And it would transition to the next scene. Here it just kind of transitions. I like that. It's a little bit faster. But yeah, that particular part was kind of annoying because of how slow the bulldozer went. And the enemies were just kind of annoying to deal with when you already had option. You know, I was really hoping that was going to actually hit somebody. It actually would be nice for explosions to hit enemies while they're on the ground. It'd make you feel a lot more satisfied when you actually throw them over by the grenade or or exploding barrel or whatever. Getting a little bit more slow down, but it's manageable. Really? None of that hit any of the bikers? Come on. That's crazy, man.
Bikers are annoying in this game because their patterns fill off. Like, they don't chase you. They just kind of appear on screen, and if they just so happen to actually line up with you, <laughs> you know, oh well. Like, I don't, like, in that KC, I wouldn't even have known whether or not he was actually going to line up with me there or not. I probably should have waited for that. These guys throw grenades and they throw them at such an angle that the grenades are never going to hit you. It just seems really pointless. They would be better off like throwing canisters or something that has gas in it to like, I don't know, stun the player or something. They also shoot instantly, which I think is kind of annoying. But it takes so long to actually get to the point, it just it just feels clunky. You know, it's like one instance they're taking forever to actually shoot you. And then the other, they're, they're shooting at you instantly, so... <laughs> It'd be better if they just had the animation where... You know, they point the gun at you to indicate that they're going to shoot, and then... They shoot. Instead here, it's like they have the wait time, but they're not, they're not using the animation for the wait time, they're just waiting. You know what, I didn't even use my rage mode like I thought I was going to.